Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to specials one and two of Symphil Gear G. I originally wasn't gonna do these. I kind of was gonna wait until I finished the show overall, and then um gone ahead and did the specials. But I was like, no, let's go ahead and do it now. I was like, it's kind of better just to have like one more thing before I go into the next season. But yeah, and then that. Let's go ahead and get started with episode well, special one and three. Two, one, go. Roughly two weeks after the destruction of the what? Uh, okay. But yeah. <laughs> hey, Mickey. It feels like more than uh, more like herself. <laughs> See, you can't even. Hear It's okay, baby. It's fine. <laughs> see that's why i love chris so much she is literally me in a nutshell sometimes i want to be on my own and i want to be left alone and then people are like are you okay and i'm like jesus christ just because i got the rest of bitch face doesn't mean i mm. Sometimes I just want to be in my own thoughts. <laughs> No, I, I really don't think so. <laughs> My child, all she cares about is her girlfriend, and that's okay. <laughs> oh, Chris.
Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> oh God, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Miku! So this is basically the stuff from season one. Oh my god. Oh. So that means special two should have, like, everything from season two. Oh my god. <laughs> Mm. Well, she finally saw it. <laughs> No. They're so fucking cute. I can't. That's a good comparison, though. Yeah, and we didn't even get to see that, and I honestly wanted to see everything about it. I can't with you too. Like, oh my god. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course, he became much better our money on food. All the people, why is it the commander? 
Seriously. Okay, Chris. It's okay. It's okay, it's too bossy, you got this. Mm. You tried though, baby. You did really good. You still have a chance. Interesting way it could possibly, you never know. <laughs> Excuse me. You sure about that? I mean, mm. honestly, this was cute as fuck. Like, oh my god, <laughs> this is kind of something that I needed. <laughs> it was just so adorable, even though I still have one more special left to go. But oh my god, like the art style. I mean, it, it's adorable as fuck. It kind of reminds me of something else that I've seen from like the past, but I just literally can't remember it right now. But they really, like, the commander really did not say what he said. <laughs> I, I get the fact it's because, like, I saw the police thing and I was like, wait. I was like, yep, mm, they did ask because Chris is like, what? Four 14, 15, maybe? 15, 16? We know Subasa is the. Subasa and Maria, they're the oldest out of the girls. And, um, Shinobe and Kiri, uh, Kiri, they're the youngest, but. Um, <laughs> Mickey and Chris, they're like, yeah, around the same age, so like 16. Y yeah, I mean, yes, you get the fact is so why the police come on is so obvious because that's like how, oh my god, and like the first few episodes of. <laughs> I can't even get a moment, oh my god. Oh, shut up. Okay, and like the first. <laughs> Stupid. Um, and like the first few episodes of the Idol Master Shinrilla Girls, when the producer is like going around trying to get Mew 
um, Rin and uh, Uzuki. He's already gotten Rin. I mean, no, um, Uzuki and Mio. He all well, no, he got Uzuki. He didn't get Mio yet. He all he really needed to get was Rin at the time, and he was like stalking the shit out of her to the point where like the police came up to him. And was like, hmm, are you supposed to be around this girl? And then several episodes later where he was just telling, you know, other idols that he is producing. Once again, he got mobbed by the police. But yes, of course, when you see a grown-ass man and, you know, somewhat of a little child, you know, child, teenager, or whatever, you're like, hmm, something about this ain't right. You, you know, you have to ask just to make sure because you never know what the hell. Um, <clears throat> could possibly happen in that situation, but yeah, honestly, this was really freaking cute, and I loved it. I love the fact that it did mainly do things literally two weeks after season one, and then going in a little bit of season two. So I feel like special two is going to go like it's gonna completely continue it, like right where the special just ended off, or they could literally, um, show some things maybe after the fact is that with G is over and then, you know, going on into the next series gave maybe giving me a sneak preview. I mean, literally, you had, like, any moment where Hibiki and Miku just, you know, <laughs> those two, like, oh my god. I can't with these two sometimes. Like, Jesus Christ. Th this is the same girl who was like, yeah, the person who I miss to see here anymore. The person who's my warmth. Been like, will you stop, child? Like, please, like, oh my god, like, I don't need the feels at two o'clock in the afternoon or nine o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock at night, two o'clock in the morning, whatever. I don't want the feels and to cry over a character, Jesus Christ. I, but it's they're so freaking sweet, I can't wait to think, like, oh my god, baby. Also, I cannot believe I'm about to say this, but like, with Subasa's quote. <laughs> And I think somebody possibly knows where I'm going with this in a weird way. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the way the quote, like, literally reminds me of this character. <laughs> but when she says her quote, the combat ready, all I'm thinking is fucking Saya. <laughs> I was trying so hard not to fucking laugh at that quote because I was like, somebody's gonna be like, why is she laughing at this quote? They're like, what the hell is so funny about this? <laughs> but like, oh my god, I was like, in my mind, I was just like, please stop. Why am I thinking about saying at a time like this? Oh my god, I am so fucking stupid. <laughs> I really am. What the fuck? Go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for special two. <laughs> okay, special two and three, two, one, go. Hmm. A few days after the performance. Prior to the performance, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, she had to go um, with Chris to go get Dr. Ver and shit like that. Gotta protect, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. No! <laughs> Hold on, baby. Oh, me cool. Hmm? What are you talking about? What uh, me cool? Wait! <laughs> Oh my god. Ow, puppy, that freaking hurts. You need your nails cut, please. Like, that is my skin, puppy.
Jesus Christ, Maria. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh my God. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I can't. I Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. It is so weird, like, literally, between this role, freaking Diana, what, uh, Freya, fucking, um, she played Coco Giddy. Yeah, she played Coco Giddy Giddy. I mean, she's known for, like, her, well, her range, really, for a lot of serious characters, but to see her playing a you know, serious, cutesy character, like, I can't, she's so adorable. I just see four shows where she acts funny. <laughs> Oh. My baby. Yeah, both of you, my children. Oh Lord. See, this is what happens when you have like a couple friends, family members, or whatever. And oh my god, you ate it all. <laughs> you had so many cooks in the kitchen. They tried. <laughs> I can't. Oh my god, she's so fucking cute.
Jamie, you might be worse than Haru from free. Like, oh my god. <laughs> God, what is wrong with me today? <laughs> mm, it's okay. That was <laughs> Well, of course, yeah. And I'm guessing she's gonna say, you know... <laughs> really? That's it? <laughs> I love Sebastian Kurt so much! Mm. <laughs> oh my god, I hate when people do that. My parents used to do that. I hate and see I'm a person who has very cold hands. <laughs> oh my god, did you get your hair? Oh. You could just tell her to wear some shorts on the room. I mean, that literally will solve the problem. <laughs> that is how I looked when I came home an hour ago. I was deadbeat fucking tired. <laughs> Oh, awesome. And I'm putting you down, puppy. DVD. It's a little weird how we're zooming in on Miku like this. We had an episode? Oh, okay, never mind. All right. I honestly thought this one was just going to be like a second or something. Oh my god, puppy, that hurts. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, honey. Hmm. 
was gonna be done but i honestly thought it was gonna be something like big and important in a way it seems like it could possibly be but i feel like with this um with these special series they're just <laughs> they're, they're canon in their own special way but who knows i mean still the biggest thing that i like literally said about the finale is going into the next show which i really don't remember the title of it it's civic or something um I still want Maria, Kitty, and Chidabay to be in the show. I don't want it to essentially be like this Sailor Moon thing where it's like, here's a season where they're in there, and then the following season, they're not in it. But then the next season, they're officially in it. And, you know, of course, I'm not really going to get my answers until this Friday when I stream an ish. And so, yeah, I mean, but still, it was nice. The art style is so gorgeous and cute and adorable. I love seeing these girls, I mean, with this series, they're not taking it seriously, but it, it, it's so fucking cute just to see these girls just to be funny and cute and adorable. I mean, because they're always cute and adorable in the damn original series, so no matter what, but oh my god, it just, I, after the day I had today, I needed something to make my butt laugh, and with both watching uh, hey a Camp and Sex on Academy, and then now watching this for it to end officially my night. My night is officially over, and I'm glad I was able to watch this. And only really, honestly, it just took me an hour, and I really enjoyed everything about it. But yeah, I cannot wait to see what is really in store for these girls next in the next Infogear series. You never know what the hell could possibly be happening. I, I kind of feel like somebody, our main villain again, is possibly going to be a woman. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I don't predominantly think they're going to do the same thing that, like, Fine and the Doctor have done, where it's like, oh, hey, the bad guys are secretly, you know, the good guys are the bad guys. They gotta, gotta, gotta bullshit, 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 you know, um, flip-flopping and ish like that. I feel like they're going to possibly have someone new join, of course. Like, they're going to have, like, maybe the same situation, but they're going to tie it completely different maybe they could still do the fine situation where it's still like um the fine as a group but i feel like since that happened in season two i don't think it'll happen again in season three because it'll just seem like it's the same thing that you're reusing from one season to another so who really knows i mean we ain't gonna know i'm not gonna know until I get cable and internet in my new place, so that'll be officially next week. But yeah, other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards really the specials of Simple Gear G. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for the first two episodes of Simple Gear Season 3. Season 3 of Simple Care. Until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!
Thank you.